Photoshop CS 5.1 and previous versions have built-in keyboard shortcuts that make life easier for you and allow you to perform common tasks much more quickly than having to find a tool from a, a menu or the toolbar. Um, all you have to do is learn the keyboard shortcuts. And the quickest way and easiest way to learn those is to hover over the tool that you want to use. So for example, if you have a look at the Move tool, hover the mouse over it, and you'll notice that a bubble pops up saying that the keyboard shortcut for that is V. If you move down to the Crop tool, again, the bubble pops up and lets you know that the keyboard shortcut for that is C. So if we press V, it will switch to the Move tool. If we press C, it'll switch to the Crop tool. Very simple, straightforward. Um, if you press H, it'll change to the hand tool, and so on. If you hold down Shift and C, you can scroll through the hidden tools that are beneath the crop tool, in this case, or any tool that has that small pointed arrow in the bottom right corner. If we look at the layers panel, um, on the right hand side, we can notice that if we want to put in a new layer there is a keyboard shortcut for that and it is shift plus control plus n or shift apple n if you're using a mac um, of course we can create a new layer in lots of different ways but if we use this keyboard shortcut shift apple n we can see that a dialog box pops up that allows us to create a new layer Go up to the uh, file menu at the top of your screen and you'll scroll down to save for web and devices to see what the keyboard shortcut for that is. And we can see it is a four character shortcut. So this is quite an awkward one to remember or to use, um, especially on a Mac because the keys are not exactly uh, in the most easiest position to get access to. And this is a particular tool that you're going to be using a lot when you're doing web design in Photoshop. The keyboard shortcut is Option, Shift, Command and S. It's possible in Photoshop to change the keyboard shortcuts and that's what we're going to do uh, here in a minute. Um, so if we go to the... Before we do that, we're just going to have a look at some keyboard options, uh, some tools and options that we might want to use may not have a keyboard shortcut. So if you go to the layer drop down menu at the top of the screen, you'll see that there's a new layer based slice option that doesn't have any shortcut associated with it. We're going to create one for that as well. So to, to achieve these two tasks, we go to the edit drop down menu at the top of our screen and choose keyboard shortcuts at the bottom of that menu. Then we're going to create a new set of shortcuts. We're going to give it a name of web.kys and save. make sure it's saved in the keyboard shortcuts folder. And then we're going to select from the file menu, save for web and devices. And we're going to click on where it says option shift command s. And instead of that, we're going to type command and comma. Um, and we'll notice that it changes automatically to reflect what we've just typed. And finally, we just need to click the Accept button on the top right corner to lock that in. If we want to add a shortcut that it doesn't exist, we can do it in very much the same way. If we go to the Layer drop-down menu, go to New Layer Base Slice, and we'll notice there's a blank space here because there is no keyboard shortcut. What we're going to do is click on that blank space and type F5, the Function 5 key and it's going to give us a warning because there's already a tool or uh, option that is associated with the F5 key and we're going to override that. So if we just click accept it's going to override the previous shortcut. Then we're going to save the keyboard set, just click the small save icon at the top and then close the dialog box. Finally, if we check what we've just done Go to the file drop-down menu where it says save for web and we'll notice that now the keyboard shortcut associated with that has been changed to command comma. And then go to the layer drop-down menu and check new layer base slice and again we can see that now F5 has become the keyboard shortcut for that particular option. We can test that out as well 
if you go out of the drop down menus and press command comma and of course the save for web option pops up cancel that okay uh, the next part of this is that we can save custom workspaces in much the same way we looked at uh, changing the layout of our workspace already but um, Photoshop comes with a number of preset options which we can see at the top of the screen essentials is the default but then we've got things like design we've got 3d and so on there used to be a web option in CS4 which has been removed but uh, we can create our own web option so that's what we're going to do first of all we will select the design preset and then we're going to add a few options ourselves so we're going to open the layer comps window from the window drop down menu and we're going to move it to the bottom of the main column to save the workspace and the keyboard shortcuts that we have locked in we're going to go to the save workspace option and we're going to name this simply web we can switch between different workspaces now and we can find that the web option the web preset workspace has been added to the menu at the top we can also edit a custom workspace by closing for example one of the panels that are open then saving the workspace with the same name again and what happens is it's going to replace the previous version uh, for all intents and purposes editing our previous workspace save okay and the last thing we we'll look at here is just to change the preferences if we need to do that when you're working with web design web layout you're going to be working in pixels for the vast majority of the time by default Photoshop's ruler is usually set to inches or centimeters so um, we're gonna first of all switch on the ruler if it's not already on which is a uh, command or control or and just check what kind of measurement is being used there it, if it may be inches if it is we need to go to the preferences menu and then <clears throat> we need to choose uh, units and rulers and from the drop down menu there we're going to choose pixels to make sure that pixels display whenever we're looking at our ruler if we control click or right click from the pop-up menu on the ruler um, we can also create guides by clicking and dragging from the top or the left ruler and dragging them onto the page we can turn the guides on and off from the view drop down menu and we can also delete a guide by simply clicking on it and throwing it off the screen or clicking and dragging it off of our canvas so these are just a few options that we can use to set up our own particular workspace uh, for our workflow for web design in Photoshop CS5.